We live in a world of sound bites. We like our information in easily digestible pieces, not long lectures. And this poses somewhat of a difficulty for Judaism, which is a very long and difficult religion. Nevertheless, throughout the ages, the great sages had tried to condense all of Judaism into basic principles, fundamentals. And one of the people who did this was the prophet Micha. In his prophecy, he says to the Jewish people that there are in three, there are in fact only three things that God expects of them as fundamentals. What are these? Ki im asot mishpat, to do justice. V'avat chesed, to love kindness. V'hatsneya lechet im Hashem lokecha, and to walk humbly with Hashem your God. These are the three fundamental principles. Mishpat, there should be justice. Chesed, there should be kindness. And there should be a sense of modesty in everything that we do. I'd like to focus on the middle principle, that of chesed, kindness. Because it's a principle that appears many, many times in our parsha, in Parshat Re'eh. The parsha includes many laws of matanot la'aniyim, gifts to the poor. And in particular, to help somebody with a loan who's having a difficult time to provide them with a partnership. And the Torah lists the different type of people that we have to assist. This is all included in chesed, in kindness. Indeed, in Pirkei Avot, in the Ethics of the Fathers, we are told that the world stands on three principles. A la Torah, on the study of Torah, the ala vodah, and on the service of God, the worship of God, the al gemilut chasadim, and on the performance of kind deeds. So again, we see that it's a fundamental principle of Judaism, to do chesed, to do kindness. Where do we learn the imperative to do kindness. Where in the Torah does God tell us, do kindness? If you look throughout the five books of the Torah, you're not going to find a particular commandment telling you to do kindness. So where do we see it? And there's a most beautiful source that the Talmud shares with us. Several times in the Torah, in fact, in this week's Pasha also, the Torah tells us, Acharei Hashem Elokeichem Teleichu. You are to follow in the footsteps of your God. You are to emulate God. Mahu rachum afatahiye rachum. Just as he is compassionate, you be compassionate. Mahu chanun, just as he is gracious, afatahiye chanun. You should be gracious. And the Talmud then goes on to give examples of how we can actually emulate God's ways by showing us the type of kindness that he does. So beginning with the creation of the world, which was the greatest act of kindness, we see that Hashem comes to Adam and Eve after the sin, they are naked, or they realize that they are naked, and he clothes them. And so the Talmud says, we too should emulate God, and we should clothe those who are naked. Another example, we see that when Avraham was sick after his circumcision at an advanced age, Hashem came to visit him. olim, he visited the sick. So too, we must emulate God and visit the sick. After the death of Avraham, Hashem came to Yitzhak and blessed him. And the commentators explain that that blessing was birchat nichumim. He came to comfort him. So too, we must comfort mourners. And right at the end of the Torah, Hashem buries Moses himself. So too, we learn that we should emulate God and bury those who have passed away. In fact, that's the highest form of chesed, of kindness, our sages tell us. They call it chesed shel emet, a kindness of truth. Because in the other forms of kindness that we do to other people, there's always the possibility that they will reciprocate that kindness. But when it comes to burying the dead, there is no way that that person can ever reciprocate the kindness that is done to them. And therefore, it's the highest form of kindness. We shouldn't confuse the concepts of charity and kindness. Charity is a very great thing. But the Talmud tells us that kindness is greater than charity. Chesed is greater than tzedakah. Tzedakah means righteousness, correctness. Chesed, kindness, is something above that. So for example, our sages tell us, charity can only be done with one's money. If you have money, you can do charity. But kindness doesn't require giving away money necessarily. You can do kindness with your body. You can visit a sick person. You don't have to give them anything other than your time. <clears throat> when it comes to charity, charity is only to the poor. But kindness can be done to Anyone, even a rich person, is in need of kindness. 
And of course, charity is only to the living, but kindness, as we said, is even to the dead. Now let's go back to that verse in the prophet Micha, where he uses different verbs in relation to the three fundamentals. When speaking about mishpat, justice, he tells us asot mishpat, do justice. It must be seen to be done. When it comes to kindness, he says avat chesed, love kindness. When it comes to humility, he says you should walk with Hashem in a humble way. Why does he use the verb avat chesed, you should love kindness? Why doesn't he use the same verb that he used in reference to justice? You should do justice and you should do kindness. Why should we love kindness? And here the great Chofetz Chaim tells us a beautiful insight. In fact, he has a book on this topic called Avat Chesed, loving kindness or to love to do kindness. And the Chofetz Chaim explains this as follows, using an analogy with a person's child. He says, if you look in the law books, if you look in the halakha, Jewish law, you'll see there are minimums that a parent has to do for a child. You have to educate your child. You have to make sure that they have a profession. You have to teach them to swim. There are basic levels that, of obligation towards your children. And you're only obligated to do that for them until a particular age. He says, however, you very, very seldom see a parent who says, I've done exactly what the law tells me to do for my child. I'm not doing anything more. We don't do that. We do far more for our children than the law requires. Why? Because we love them. And says the Chovetz Chaim, that's why it says, Avat Chesed, love kindness. It's not enough that you just do kindness out of a sense of responsibility, but you have to love it. You have to look for opportunities to do kindness. You can't wait for those opportunities to come to you. And that was the example from Avraham. Even after he had had his circumcision at such an old age and he was in pain, he went and he sat outside the tent because he wanted wayfarers to come in. He was going to see them, he was going to grab them, and he was going to bring them in. Chesed, kindness, is something that we want to do, we love to do. And the Chofetz Chaim goes a step further, and he tells us that chesed is a fundamental in this world because no human being can survive in this world without kindness. It doesn't matter who a person is, how wealthy they are, or how well careful they are, there is a time in our lives, and in fact many, many times, that we need the kindness of other people. When we're young children, what would we do without the kindness of our parents? When we're ill, what would we do without the kindness of people who come to visit us? When a person is bereaved, what would they do without people coming to them and offering them kindness? Kindness is something that every human being requires. And indeed, the verse tells us, Olam chesed yibane, God says, I'm building a world of kindness, meaning it can only function if there is kindness between people. And that is the very great level of chesed, of kindness, that the prophet tells us is a fundamental in this world. And Jews have always attached to this particular fundamental in a very, very strong way. And throughout their long diaspora, they have set up institutions of chesed, which they refer to as a gemach, which is an abbreviation of the words gemilut chasadim, acts of kindness. And there are many, many different types of gemach, the most popular being an interest-free loan fund. And then there's Bikr Cholim, a society that visits the sick. There's the Hevra Kedisha, the society that buries the dead. And the Chofetz Chaim mentions a very interesting one that was active in Lithuania in his time. It was called Linat HaTzedek. And the members of this society would identify people who were looking after very, very ill relatives. And it was so difficult for them. Often they'd have to stay up throughout the night caring and tending for that sick person and then get up early in the morning and go off to work. So this society would come into the home and say to them, we're going to take over tonight. You get a good night's sleep, we'll look after your sick relatives so that you can go to work tomorrow. What a wonderful thing, what, a, what an encouraging and motivating aspect that people can care so much about others that they'd be able to give up their night to give chesed. And this is what the Torah tells us in Parshat Re and many, many times. We should do kindness. And when we do kindness, we're not just doing a mitzvah of the Torah, we are in fact emulating our Creator. Good Shabbos.